There we go, microphone is connected. Welcome to another new Sonic game. Today we are checking out Sonic Dream Team on Apple Arcade. I'm so, so excited for this. It looks incredible. So I can't wait to get into it. Here we go, and straight away, what an insanely awesome intro here. Look how nice this looks. And we have some Kirby sound effects going in the background. Ah, oh, this is so cool. This looks amazing. Look how bright the colours are. While this is going on, I'm just going to plug in my hard drive so I can capture the gameplay. Oh. Here we go, Sonic Dream Team. I really can't wait to get into this. I've been dying to play it all day. I gave it a little quick test earlier just to make sure all the uh, capture now, stuff worked properly on the Mac. Here we go. Eggman wants to send Sonic's friends into his dream for some reason. Puppeteering a child? This is a new low, even for you, Doctor. I will not tell you again. You will never control the reverie. Now release her! <laughs> you won't deny me, Guardian. No, oh, the Dreamweaver's power should have been neutralized. Wait, what are you doing? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Looks like your intel say. was spot on, Rouge. Thanks for finding this place so fast. My pleasure, Sonic. Just don't forget my reward for helping. Can you find a way to get them out of this thing, Tails? I'm trying, Amy. It seems Eggman was using cream and cheese as a conduit to interface with that relic. I think he was trying to use them as a... filter, maybe? What's this thing even supposed to do? One second, Knuckles. According to the operational files, it can control dreams? I'm glad Knuckles is here at least to Knuckles. ask what's going on, because I have no clue. Uh, it's sending everyone to sleep. Did it need, need an entire separate cutscene just for that? Whoa, whoa! I've heard of falling asleep, but that was ridiculous. Wow, I love the animation. The models look really nice too. I am nice looking too. after your friends, but they will need your help. Is that the bubbles talking? Wow, the controls are so responsive. Oh my god. Look at that. Alright, let's go through this tutorial level. I love how colourful the graphics are, first of all. How nice does this look? Oh my god. A little bit of pop in there with those boxes coming up. I wonder if there's any options for graphics. Graphics quality. Oh, I've already got everything set as high as it can go. Also got some accessibility things. You can make yourself invincible if you want to. Uh, show speed toggle, game speed 100%. Camera options, control options. Okay, I'll just leave it all as default for now. Let's try and pick all these up. 
Oh, my boost meter's already full. Okay, that's the thing next to Sonic. Oh my god. Learning how to jump. Do they not think you would figure that out on your own? Collect rings to preserve damage. We know how to play Sonic. That's interesting, the homing button's on a different button. Because in Sonic, in some Sonic games at least, the uh, homing attack is done by double jumping with an enemy in the uh, right location. I guess it makes more sense to have it as a separate attack button, because then you can still do a double jump separately. But yeah, so far, very impressed. I mean, obviously, it's a bit basic at the minute. Hopefully the levels get more interesting. That's new. Like a wall ride kind of thing. Of this half pipe. Whee! Kind of reminds me of uh, Sonic Heroes, I guess. Mostly. Use the camera to explore the area. You need to teach me how to use the camera. Okay, look at the balloon. Well done! It's a nice balloon. You can invert the camera in the settings. Okay. Whee! Oh, nice! Got the uh, light speed dash too. Works a little bit differently. You just have to double jump into it. Which is cool. It works well. Might be a little confusing to get your head around. Uh, sometimes having to press square and sometimes having to double jump. I guess you know when to press attack because that icon pops up. Oh, so, where are we going now? Is that the end of the level? Dun, 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 dun. Yes! Level complete. Would you like to know about new challenges and events? Yes, please. You can enter any into the green. We've got a statue. What is that spot? With a really cool jingle going on. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know what the statue is. Madam disembodied voice, I made it here, wherever here is. This is Reverie Haven, my home. Whoa! Let's turn it up a little well, bit. Nice to put a face to the voice. Likewise, I am R.E.M., Dreamweaver and Guardian of the Reverie. Ooh, a new character. You, Sonic, need no introduction. Now, I need your legendary heroism and skill to recover the dream orbs. Oh, this? These contain the power of the reverie, and allow me to dream me. With enough of them, I can get us through the twisted dreamscapes Dr. Eggman has constructed. This way, we'll be able to restore each of your friends. Sonic! I knew you'd find Is she us. basically an alarm clock? Well, I had some help this time. I'm sorry, I'm not strong enough to free go. everyone yet. I've explained the situation to them, even though I cannot fully reach them yet. That's better. Tails seems to have grasped the situation especially well. From what REM's explained, each dreamscape is locked down like a secured bunker. We can wave from the inside, but we can't get out. Yes, I can use the power of the dream orbs and dream weaving to reunite you all. She knows how to I use Dreamweaver. She can make them a website to explain how to wake up. Well, Ari, anyone who wants to help out is all right in my book. Amy, you ready? Because it looks like we need to hustle and grab those dream orbs. Ari? Yeah, he likes to hand out nicknames. It means he trusts you. <laughs> She's happy about it. Come on, let me play. Uh, sure. All right, we've got a map screen here. That's interesting, you don't usually see 3D Sonic with map screens like this. Three orbs left to unlock. Okay, let's go find some orbs, I guess. Alright, and then we've got levels inside the level. So, I guess level one, reach the dream portal. There's five red rings to find and 30 blue ones, which equal a silver, which equal a, a gold Sonic, I guess, whatever that means. And we can choose Sonic or Amy. Interesting. I thought it was going to be that certain characters have their own levels. Scrambled Shores, Act 1. Right, we've got our first proper level now. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy with the controls, this feels fantastic. Nice little bit of exploration too. Not completely linear levels. 
what's going on here? Some sort of time challenge? Did I win? I'm not really sure what happened then. Like three kings to open the barrier. Did I get one? Oh, there's some of those blue ones. It kind of looks a little bit like Fall Guys as well, with all the uh, really weird plastic things floating around. I love how colourful it is. Right, now we got to go to the side. Oh, maybe that was just telling me, like, hey, if you come over here, you'll find anything. Okay, somewhere. Somewhere. I love how smooth it is. It looks really nice. Right, let's go up here. Whoa, okay. That's new. There we go, we got the keys. Now right, get the skate open. Okay, it looks like there's something else over here. Only Knuckles and Rouge can climb walls. Okay, that's why you come back to the same level with different characters. Double tap the camera zone. I guess that means click the stick in. Yeah. And there's a Tails and Cream section up there, I guess. So let's carry on with Sonic. I haven't seen anywhere specific for Amy yet. Red ring over there. Let's try and get that. There it is. There it is. I've probably missed more. There's one. Oh no! Ah, I was just saying how good the controls are. I was throwing myself off the level. It seems like you can uh, you can't really move when you're on the rails. You get stuck on there, which is a bit different than some of the modern Sonic games. Did I get the red thing then? I think it was on here. Is that the end of the stage? Is that how all the levels end? Let's see what we got. We got something. We got three out of five. Oh, okay. And now all the other levels have opened up. Oh, okay. They're not levels, they're sort of different missions for the same level. So we've reached the Dream Portal. Collect the Dream Orb. Reach each checkpoint. Okay, let's try this one as Amy then. We can see how Amy plays. Is this like a, a challenge section? I thought I was going to use a hammer. But no, she's just as fast as Sonic is. Is she just Sonic but pink? Ah, uh, there's that classic spring noise. Hey, is that it? Is that all we need to do? Backy Pum, this game looks so good. It really does. It looks incredible. Right, I guess we'll come back to the other ones here. Ah, uh, okay, we need to do a certain amount of challenges. Reach the checkpoint before time runs out. Okay, let's do it. Scramble chores. We're still in Act 1. Is it a different part of the level? Oh, it's like a time attack version of the level. Cool. Nice, I like these extra challenges. I can definitely see myself going back into the levels to do these. Ah. Go past there! Oh, this bit's good. Yeah. 
I did it. That wasn't very difficult. Now we can go to the next level. We can journey further into the dream. Well done. We have another part of the dream to explore. Is this enough to free everyone else? No. We still need to break down the security Eggman applied to this dream. Correct. The border between dreams is heavily guarded. That aside, why is Eggman dreaming about worlds made already. of bouncy castles? Uh, no, I'm playing it on my Mac and using the PS5 controller. I've actually got it. The way I did this to get around the copy protection, I've got it on the desk over there, and it's going through the HDMI splitter at the back where all my consoles are plugged in. So, yeah, I'm playing it on my M1 MacBook Pro, which is what I use to make all my videos. But. Um, yeah, there's loads of different ways of playing this game. You can play it on Apple TV, you can play it on Mac, you can play it on iPad, you can play it on iPhone. I guess you can play it on iPod Touch if they still make them. But um, I'm quite a fan of Apple Arcade actually. I've played quite a lot of their games on the Mac. I should really play through Mistwalker's RPG on my at some point. There was actually another game that came out today that I was very excited about as well. There was a Puzzle and Dragons RPG. And I used to be a big fan of the Puzzle and Dragons games. So I'm going to check that out at some point too. I don't know why I wanted to go this way. I think this is just a standard plugin. It's not a particular challenge to try and accomplish. I'm doing a lot better finding the red uh, rings on this one. It kind of reminds me most of uh, Sonic Heroes, I'd say. Let's go down here, see if there's anything. There's these blue ones as well, that I guess are good for something. It said there was 30 in the last level. Let's see up there. The draw distance seems a little weird. Like, um, sometimes you can see things in the distance, sometimes you can't. That's pretty cool. Like, depending on how fast you go, you can either run all the way up the wall or you'll sort of slide back down it. Kind of feels like a skate park. That's nice. And having the bolts of electricity to charge up as well, that's cool. Let's explore this level a bit more and try and find out where the uh, blue rings. I probably already missed some towards the start. I'm just amazed at how well it controls. Like this feels so much nicer than Sonic Frontiers. I hope whatever Sonic game Sonic team decides to make next, they should ask Sega Hardlight for their visits. These feel way nicer. Oh, we're not supposed to go that way. Uh, okay, that's the way out, not the way in. That's how you get to that one. Let's see how many I've got. Oh, there's only one more to find. Nice. There it is. We've got them all. I think we missed a lot of the blue ones, though. There we go, level complete. Ooh, nice. Does that mean I get two? Uh, I guess so, yeah. So we've got six now. We've got some more new challenges. Collect scene, uh, six dream shards. Let's try playing as Amy again. Okay, looks like they're just dotted around randomly. And we just have to go and find them. Okay. I like how they use in the levels the more like open-ended 3D platforming as well. We haven't seen this style of Sonic level since, like, Sonic Adventure 1. So that's really nice. I guess Sonic 06 a little bit. Very nice relaxing music in this area. It 
kind of strange that Amy hasn't got any extra moves or anything. Maybe she can uh, learn new moves later on. <laughs> She's making some strange noises. There's only one left. Oh my god, look how nice this looks. It's amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. There's the last one. That's unlocked. Now you can go further. Yo, Ari, what exactly and a bit more story. Supposed to, you know, do? It turns the dreams of the pure hearted into reality. So someone could dream up anything and you'd be able to make it happen in the real world? Interesting. Oh, don't get your hopes up. She did say pure hearted. Huh, I like the banter yeah. between everyone. What does that even mean? I am mandated by my creators to only grant the reverie's powers to those I deem to be of noble and virtuous intentions. It was this rule that led the doctor to kidnap Cream. Oh, no. He thought that he could trick me if he filtered his evil dreams through an innocent mind. I was not decisive enough in repelling him. In the end, the best I could do was trap him in his own dreamscape. It's all good, R.E.M. We'll get your powers back and we'll stop him. We always do. R.E.M.? Is that because of REM sleep? R.E.M. That's a nice play on words if it is. Right, Act 3. Here we go. Reach the dream portal. Yeah. Let's go back to Pain Sonic. Scramble Chores Act 3. Is, uh... Oh, does that just show me where the checkpoint is? Over there. Oh, I can't see it. Secrets. I love this. It just feels like a proper 3D platformer. Not like the really weird controls that Frontier's dream sections had. Or what do they call it? Cyberspace sections. I'll probably end up coming back later on on my own and finding all the blue ones. So let's just play through the levels. Actually, for now. Ooh, there's a red one up there too. It's been a very good year for Sonic overall, because Superstars was pretty good too. I thought so, anyway. So, I've been happy. Oh, yeah, I need to find trees. Can you only light dash from certain spots? Whoa! Yeah, I guess it sort of locks you in. That's a bit different to normal. Not a bad change, but it's different. Have we got all the keys? Yeah, we got one. Let's go! They should have a cameo of knights because it's set in a, in a dream. That'd be cool. Or a knights bonus level. Do it, Sega, if anyone's watching. Collaboration level with lights. Should I just go to the finish? There are some more blue coins there. Like I said, I'll probably come back. Checkpoint. Before the time runs out, these ones are easy. Oh, I almost messed up already. I was saying it's easy. Whoa, whoa. I like how easy the wall climbing is. Oh, 
I must have played around a lot to get these controllers feeling good. It does maybe feel a little bit slower than boosting in a regular Sonic game. Uh, can we go to another level? I need one more. Okay. Reach the Dream Portal in under 1 minute 35. We can do that. Started in a bit of a different spot that time. I oh, was right back at the start of the level. Of course. Let's try this way. Oh, this is where I was to start aiming section last time. Here. So, I'm not really sure how this boost bar works. It looks like it slowly falls off on its own, or you can pick up the um, electric things. Just got it back up on its own. Up there. Whoa, somehow I managed to get on there. I don't think I was supposed to go that way. Oh no! Yeah, I don't think I'm meant to be up there. I can't fly. Let's stay down the wrong path. I can go up the side at least. I keep thinking it's a regular double jump, but it just seems to push you forward as well. Which is not good. There we go, we got it. Is that it? Are we gonna go to a different area? This is the security tale spoke of. We may only reach the next dreamscape through here. Yeah, you know, I gotta admit, I'm kinda curious what he's been cooking up. Of course you'd be excited. You two chill here. I'll be right back. To have all the fun. Ooh, I'll get to choose. Let's be Sonic. Oh, got a new follower. Thank you. Uh, the Heavy Void, I think it said. Thank you so much. Whoa, we get to face a giant seaside dream. Inflatable giant crab. crab. Why am I not sur huh. Wait. A Is giant enemy crab. Yes. Anthony Lavelle, hello. I was wondering whether you would catch us. Great to see you here. So, for those of you that don't know, Anthony worked for Sega Hardlight and was actually a designer for this. Now you can laugh at me for doing this boss fight horribly wrong. I think I'm doing okay so far. What's wrong with his hands? They're all deflated. <laughs> Not so fun. Oh no, he's going to be mad. Oh. <laughs> what a cool idea for a fight. Just make him into a balloon. This will be fun. And <laughs> now he's tiny. Whee! That was fun. A giant enemy crab. We got another world. Looks like it's all lava themed. Or like a lot inside a lava lamp. And some statues. I don't know what the statues do yet. And not just that. Cream's voice is a little strange. Are you feeling all right? Yes. Uh, hi. <laughs> Yay, there's a chow as well. Yeah, hanging in Jesus there, here. You know me. I've been trying to get a handle on Eggman's systems while you've been gathering dream orbs. 
I've determined Eggman can't use the Reverie's full potential without R.E.M.'s authorization. It's only a matter of time before he tries to force her to cooperate. Then we have to look out for Miss R.E.M. and keep her safe. Don't you worry. We'll all look out for each other. Now, let's hurry to the next dreamscape. New Heroes Do we choose who to play as? Okay, yeah, we can play as Cream or Tails. Let's start off as Tails. Dream Factory, Act 1. Wow, I love the colours. Can we fly? Yeah! Ah, cool. This will make exploring the levels to get all the different rings easier. Oh, and also thank God that he doesn't have his really annoying um, voice from Sonic Heroes every time you fly. That is definitely imp an improvement. Can we go this way? There's the key. Yeah. Okay, that resets the flight meter. Last one. Oh, we got all three of them. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. The chairs on Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, everyone does. I don't know why they haven't brought them back. In any proper capacity, at least. They have cameos every now and then. At the Comic Con, I was just that, actually. There's a Sonic um, fan artist, and he did a Chow stamp rally, which was really fun. So there's basically a bunch of different Sonic artists, and if you went round and bought something from all their tables, you would um, you'd be able to get a free sticker sheet with both different Chow on. I kind of regret not doing it myself, but I was quite busy behind the table most of the show. But it's such a fun idea, though. If he does it again next time, I'll definitely give it a chance. Half pipe stuff, yeah. It's like Sonic Riders without the board. Let's try going up here. I love the wall riding, they've made it so seamless. It's really cool, really well done. Right, I guess we can't go over here unless we're Knuckles. Although, we can go this way. Maybe. Uh, we're gonna make it! Yes! I'm not really sure if I'd make it there. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Yeah, there's the exit. Yes. Hey, I found them all too. Awesome. Right, collect the Dream Orb. Let's try playing as Cream this time. Looks like it's going to be a flying challenge level. Oh, she's a lot slower. I like the animation using her ears to fly. Can't go up anymore. This way around. The plane's kind of weird, like when the meter runs out, you can still hover in the air for that length of time, so it's not too difficult. It is. That wasn't too challenging. I love the model and the animations. Oh, look how cute that is. Can we go to Act 2? We need to get one more. 
Okay, let's look for these crystal shards. And we're in, we're in a different area of the factory this time as well. I don't know what the factory's making, just lava. It's a dream, it doesn't have to make sense. the next one. This, and the last one. All right. How long can I float in place for? Not forever. Come on, Tails. No, he can't get up there. Alright, we'll have to go the long way around. To the next level. Journey further into the dream. REM, do you know what's being pumped through the factory pipes? It's everywhere. The amber liquid is imagination, the essence of dreams. There you go, that explains what's the being made in the factory. It's Dr. Eggman's corrupted version, fueling his minions. It's literally nightmare fuel? Why would anyone want to make nightmares? Because he's a jerk, and he's huh. a control freak. Uh, there has to be some kind of control. He's just a jerk. That's all there is to it. Good call, Amy. Let's get scouting. Let's go stop that jerk. Cool. Now we get all the, all the characters. Let's go back to playing Sonic. It is his game. Dream Factory Act 2. It kind of gives me Sonic Colors vibes, but in a more open ended setting. More open ended levels. There it is. Like, oh, yeah. Sonic Colors and Sonic Heroes, but less annoying than either of them. Which is a good combo. Oh, yeah. And maybe a bit of Sonic Robo Blast. The way it feels to move around. I'm definitely enjoying it. It'd be great if it does get a console release at some point. I don't know what the legalities are around that from Apple's point of view. It's not unheard of for Apple Arcade games to get console ports. Blue ones up there. Okay, I can jump off there whenever I want. Where am I actually supposed to be going? This way? Off here. Just wait for that. Oh, oh it was a dead end. Oh nice, you can jump at the right time to get a bit of a boost up too. Ah! Oh my god, that, I've done that a few times now. I keep thinking I can cancel the jump out by doing the dash. Yeah, it would be perfect on the Switch. But I'm just glad that it was able to get made. That's the main thing. Ooh. 
three knuckles and rouge. Oh, okay. That's a specific challenge for them. Alright, let's do the checkpoint race. I might go back and do the other challenges during the stream, depending on how long it takes to get through. Oh, did I miss it? Oh no. Let's restart that. Whoops, pretend that didn't happen. I went too high, I think. Let's take it more steady. There we go. Now we've got the checkpoint properly. went too fast then, the door didn't open in time. Now we're going to go through it as Amy. And do more of a speed focus one, I guess. Her eyes are so shiny. Yeah, I think Amy's jumps a bit different. Because when I'm doing the double jump, she sort of boosts forward more. I appreciate the work that's gone into the camera, so you don't have to keep manually adjusting it. Whoa, where am I going? Inside the giant lava lamp of dreams. I'm really nailed the wall running controls, it feels really good. Whoa, there we go! Let's carry on. Oh, I need to do two more. Okay, maybe I have to go and finish all of the challenges. Let's go and do this one. Collect a dream orb. Some platforming challenges to do on this one. I keep forgetting Sonic's got a deeper voice now. He sounds a lot bit like Knuckles. It goes to show how much nicer the controls are on here compared to Frontiers. I would have been dead. Uh, I spoke too soon. I was about to say I would have been dead at this point in Frontiers, but there we go. It's definitely a, a lot sn snappier. Go, level complete. Um, Joel, who I made Indestructo Tank with, did the Got camera. It. Pretty good for touch screen stuff, much better with a gamepad. Yeah, it's really good. I guess there's different zones set up where it focuses on the right direction, deciding on where it thinks you're going to go, I guess, to keep you on the track without having to constantly adjust it. But, yeah. Tell him he did a great job. I haven't tried it on a touch screen yet, but it feels nice on the controller. I did have to turn the sensitivity down a little bit when I was testing it, but so, yeah, I moved it down to low because I felt like it was a little bit too twitchy, having it on normal. Uh, I haven't played with this. Camera distance. Okay, get a really far back view of Sonic. It's nice that you've included all these options. Auto follow. Um, oh, okay, there is a manual mode as well. Is that just completely static? Okay, yeah, that's that's weird. Maybe if you're playing keyboard and mouse, that's the best way to play. It's good to have options. Inverted camera. Let's see what Neo looks like. 
Whoa, very high up close camera. Let's keep it on default. And yeah, not many options in graphics. You got quality. Should we see what it looks like on very low? Why is the frame rate worse on very low? What's going on? How do you explain that? What? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, it didn't look as good, but the frame rate also died along with it. Oh, I can't go that way. Gotta take the sonic route. Um, big Unity Colliders switch camera styles and directions. Yeah, I thought so. It'd be really cool to see what one of the levels looks like with all the debug tools turned on. And I wonder, was it difficult making the game for so many different platforms as well? Because I guess you have to take into consideration people playing it on everything from like a tiny iPhone mini phone screen all the way up to like iPad Pro or playing it on a TV like I am. That must have taken a lot of consideration to you know, the way the UI works and stuff. And I'm actually using an ultra-wide monitor and I tried it earlier without it being connected to the HDMI. And it ran fine in ultra-wide as well, so that's another, another consideration. Or is it all done by Unity and you just tell it to scale it? Oh no, I'm going to run out of time! Uh, oh, did I press the wrong button? Oh no. I have to go over there and press play. I either pressed the wrong button or it crashed. If you stick around till the end, I can plug it in to the the screen with the right resolution. Oh, there you go. Report that back to Sega. I love the intro as well. That was so cool the first time I saw it. Hopefully I didn't lose any progress. Oh, it was the most difficult one. Okay, we're going to try and get that one to two minutes. Shoddy, shoddy. I'm going this time. Yeah, I really love the intro. I watched it like three times already when I was setting it up earlier. You hate the jump sounds. You mean that the one from Sonic Colors? I don't mind it. I got used to it. At first I thought it was a bit weird. So I thought maybe I just didn't like it at the time because of the weird physics that Colors had. Where it's like a really floaty jump and you have to hold it down for a long time to be able to steer properly. And they've just kept that sound ever since. I love the spring sound the most. How am I doing for time? I'm doing a lot better this time, I think. That's what I was supposed to do before. Yeah, easy. Now we've got enough to get onto the next level. We're going into Eggman's Hellscape. Yeah. Who shall we play as this time? Yeah. Let's be Tails. I'll try and mix the characters up a bit. Dream Factory Act 3. 
Let's go. There's a lot of rings up there. Are there any special stages? I haven't seen any. Are there emeralds to collect? I was looking forward to seeing what style the special stages took, but maybe it doesn't have any. Uh, uh, oh, that didn't really do anything anyway. Unless that's what the blue rings are related to. I haven't really bothered collecting many of them. There is tails. Key hunting time, let's go! I like how the levels transition from linear into these adventuring sections to find the keys. And they all leap back round into a central hub. Am I going the right way? Was it telling me Sonic and Tails? Oh, Sonic hi. and Amy. Eggman! Tails can get up there too. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired. I'm mixing all my words up. There. Right, let's go on that side then. Ooh, we're going to a secret higher up level. Oh, you can't stand on there. Shoddy work. Sega. How dare you make something look like a platform when it's not. Alright then, we'll go back this way, I guess. I found my way back. Not the intended route. Whoa, what is this? F-Zero? One complete. I think that's one. Yes. Collect six dream orb shards. Let's go with cream. Oh. doesn't really seem to matter that much whether you get hit or not. I guess that's par for the course with Sonic games. I love the music in these sections. It's so nice and... Low key and atmospheric. I like it. Dreamlike, I guess, is what we're going for. Ah, not yet. I have to go all the way up there. Okay. Or there in the middle first. If I can make it. Nice, and it refueled me. Oh no! 
No. Ah, I've gone all the way back down to the bottom. Try again. Maybe I just shouldn't let go, even if it looks like I'm running out. That's it, last one. Checkpoints. Yet to do anything yet. whole level basically played itself. Have we got enough for the next level? Need three more. Uh, I wish the progression wasn't locked behind collecting a certain number of things first. Maybe I should go back to some of the earlier levels. If I'd have known that, I might as well have just played through them all. I probably just did this level with one of these challenges. I thought I went underneath it then. Just close. Oh, there we go, I already did do that one. Can't do that until we get my course. Alright, now we've got to do the same again, I guess, in a different part of the factory. I don't think there's any difference between Amy and Sonic. Well, there is a new thing in the corner that I didn't realise that says press triangle for something. It doesn't look like I can do it yet though. Or can I? No, pressing triangle isn't doing anything. I don't know whether that was explained and I skipped over it. Maybe.
I didn't realise I was going to boost straight into that. Whoops. I don't know. I completely missed that. I thought I'd be able to home in on it. Oh my god, I had eight seconds left. It was actually quite a close call that time. Now we've got enough. No, I need one more still. And they're all finished. And they're all finished. We'll have to go back. Oh, did I go back too far? L1, there we go. Let's do one of these ones then. Put six stream orbs in the first area. And I think collecting the red rings counts as well. Oh no, have I crashed it? I think I've crashed it. Had to reset it again. Shoddy, shoddy. It's just a really bright level. At least it's fast to get back into the game. Right, let's go back onto this super bright stage. Ah, oh, my eyes. Oh, there we go. It is very bright anyway. I'll give it that. <laughs> Was that Sonic then coming out of that white screen? This should be a nice relaxing stage. Sure, and then they all seem to be behind me. this one. Oh, there's one there as well. I keep wanting to highlight all three of them like Sonic Heroes to get a level up. How do I get it? Oh, bounce on the floor. Oh, why can't I get it? There we go. was designed by Alexander Day. His contract has ended and he's looking for other design work. It was his first job as a junior designer. Oh, wow. Yeah, I figured these were done by, like, professional level designers, so whoever he's uh, looking to work with next, you can clip this and say that he is an amazing designer. Because I wouldn't have known that that was done by a junior in the slightest. That's, like... Proper quality Sonic level design. Crazy. Yeah, so 
I'll, uh, I'll give him a follow on Twitter after this as well. No prizes for guessing what that's supposed to do. So how do we stop it? The good news is that its launch controls are just past the barrier. The bad news is that's where the security nightmares are waiting. So one of us needs to fight our way to the off switch on the Guardian Hunter. I'll do it! I'll do it! I guess we'll play as Cream. Oh no! Can, Can we follow her? I, I need time, time to regain my strength. strength. I'm, I'm sorry. Relax, Cream's got this. She's, she's growing up on us fast, fast and, and she's got cheese with, with her. Yeah, I just, I just wish, wish we could do more to help. I love how expressive the animation is. Okay, we've got some weird drill robots. How are they not falling over? Where's the other one? <laughs> Factory foreman. Menacing magnets. I like it. Can cream attack them separately, like Sonic Advance? I'm guessing I can't hurt them when they're electrifying. Ow! Oh, okay, now I can get him. Now he's loaded like Oh my god. Ah! Can I jump over that? Oh, I can fly, can I? He hasn't got anyone to hold on to this time. He's just letting me happen. Okay, I knew there'd be more to the fight than just that. That's more like it. The four man. High enough to avoid his electron thing. Is he going to do something stupid so I can attack him? Not yet. Oh, I didn't realise I actually hit him. Do I need to be over here for a reason? Right, the platform's disappeared. Now is my chance to attack him. Okay. I'm not sure why. And then the platform just came back. And I'm going to do another skipping rope challenge.
get back over to the side. I'm not sure how this benefits him. Is this him recharging? Very kind to put those platforms there for me, though, he does so. Yay! Another boss down. The music so much louder than the voices. You were very brave. I could ask nothing more of you. Besides, thanks to your efforts, I have the power to restore your friends. Nice work back there, kid. Way to show up these amateurs. Mr. Knuckles, Miss Rouge, I'm so happy you're free. Yep, now we can help protect R.E.M. too. It's what guardians do, right? Handsome one, isn't he? <laughs> sure, but he's such a brute. No glass or tact at all. I think Rouge has a different uh, voice actor as well. She sounds different. Sounds good to me. Let's get moving. Yay. Ah, so loud. New heroes have joined the team. Yeah, that jingle needs turning down a bit. The other ones aren't anything like that. Um. Right, what are these statues that I'm collecting? Where can I find them? They must be... somewhere. Oh, is it square? Okay, here they are. Cool. It's like a Smash Brothers trophy thing. Nice. I love that boss. That was such a cool idea. A giant inflatable crab. Giant inflatable enemy crab. And there's one of the regular ones, I guess. Okay. Collect all the blue coins to unlock more. That's what they're for. And complete tons of challenges. Nice! There's a lot of things to try and aim for then. Uh, where do we go now? Nightmare Maze. Level 3. Try Knuckles, see how he controls. There's been some strange controlling Knuckles in the past few games. Be interested to see how his glide works. Oh, it feels good. Um, kind of weird to turn, kind of slow. He gets back up to speed fast though, which is pretty nice. See how the climbing is. Kind of weird how he le oh he falls quite fast too. That's not. It usually falls a lot slower than that. Wow, the climbing's nice and fast though. And I jump off the wall. Yeah, it's like, it feels good. You can only climb on certain sections though, by the way. He doesn't punch though, he just slides around like everyone else. Oh no, he can't climb on that either. He can literally only climb on the red surfaces. That'll take some getting used to. And I'll get up there. I have to jump off to see them. It's weird, he keeps the direction that he's moving when he starts gliding. It feels good though, kind of more like how classic knuckles would control, I guess.
He was very happy about getting that red ring. Nice, I love the aesthetics on this level. Right, what do we have here? Enter water jets to reach new areas. Okay, let's do it. Whoa, okay. No, you're taking me! Did I want to be up there? I saw another red ring. I'm definitely going to come back and try and find all them later. There's another one over there. I'm not looking for keys or anything like at this point. Nope, okay, not that way. Where am I going? How does Knuckles defy gravity like this? Whoa. Oh, that's the end of the level. I was enjoying that one. New missions. Yeah, we've got Knuckles' missions for the other levels now. Let's try playing as Rouge. She sounds a little less grand in this one. I think that's the difference. Here she is, coming out of the blinding white light. Oh, I forgot what I was doing then. Ah! I'm not used to this flying. It feels like the turning circle's really wide. Yeah, there you go. Just proving my point. Oh, I'm still alive. Okay, cool. I don't know how I got here. Cool music. I haven't really been listening to it that much, but I think from what I've heard so far, the soundtrack's very nice. It definitely doesn't feel as jarring as the tonal shift that is half of Sonic Superstars. I don't know why they decided to do that. There's something in the floor that stopped me moving there. Another fun level. How many more do I need? I need four. Oh my god, they really are making me do everything. They want me to go back and use knuckles and rouge for the other ones, I guess. Uh, checkpoint race one. Yeah. Ah, same place that I died with Fruit as well. Seems to be a bit stuttery in this bit for some reason. Oh my god, you really sink fast! I'm not used to that. This, the difference in the flying is really. I'm really struggling to get to grips with it. Okay, let's land on this one first. Oh, what happened then? Did I press something I wasn't supposed to? I take it that wasn't your idea, Anthony, to make Knuckles sink so fast. He's never felt like that before. That's really throwing me off. It's like he's just got really heavy. 
after a few seconds. Oh, you thought it might be too easy if we could just fly over everything. I guess so. And you had to have the levels the same for all the characters. I think it would have been fine with his regular guide, but I guess I see why they did it. No, you, no, you mention it, and I guess I see why you didn't want him jumping on every surface as well. It might be a bit easy to break the game as well. Then, what are we doing this time? Just a regular. Oh my God! Don't know what happened then. A regular hunt for the uh, shards. Oh, I don't need to run at full speed on this guy. Ah! Okay, I won't go that way. Fine. Oh, I couldn't turn the camera around then either. I bet this is frustrating watching the game now and knowing there's nothing you can do to fix these issues at this point. I'm not allowed up there. Switch characters to reach new places. Oh, cool. You can do it in the level itself. That's cool. Although it's telling me I want to be Sonic. I thought so. You had a version where he could climb everywhere, but he kept breaking the game. Yeah, I can see, especially in big open levels like this. You've never seen this part of the game before. What stage was the game at then before you left? I take it you've seen the first few areas. Reach the dream portal and then under one minute, something. I didn't quite read all that. Alright, let's go. Nightmare maids. Speedrun time. I don't know where to go. This way. You left last November. Oh, cool. I'm sure this is interesting for you as well, then, to see what they actually did in that time. Shall I switch to Tails? to go in there. What's the benefit of playing as Sonic if all the other characters are just as fast, except they have their own unique areas? Oh, I guess he has the light speed dash, so that's exactly a unique feature. Ah, that bit keeps throwing me off. all them. Do we still need more? Oh my god, we still need more. Uh, I could try and find them. Let's go back. 
We have some new things we can do here. Collect the Dream Orb as Knuckles. He really does sink fast. He needs fans to keep him afloat. I like that how this is a completely separate not one just not. That is so weird that he can't just grab on there and go up. Makes you appreciate all the effort that Sega originally went into to make it so that the levels aren't completely broken with all the different characters. Oh my god, it is difficult to turn around. Hey, now we learn how to bounce around as well. Now we got an act. Looks like a level out of Super Monkey Ball. I've been going through Eggman's files, and I keep finding references to a dormancy protocol. It sounds like it did ruin his plans. Do you know what that is, R.E.M.? Of course. The dormancy protocol is a safeguard my creators installed to shut down the reverie, should it fall into the wrong hands. When I get my powers back, I have to trigger it. To ensure, ensure the doctor's influence is erased. Once, Once complete, the reverie will lock down and be completely inaccessible. For how long? As, As you proceed, time. A millennium. A thousand years? But what happens to you? I wait. A guardian must be prepared to sacrifice everything for their cause. Tails! Is there anything you can do? Well, well I can learn a lot about how the reverie works. But it's difficult to say. But the best thing we can do is collect more data. Then there's no time like the present. Let's do it to it. Let's do it to it. Let's go. We'll be Amy this time. I guess it doesn't really matter who you pick if you can change a character at any point anyway. Oh, I thought I died then. That's something only Amy can do. Well, oh, Amy and Sonic. Key time! I forgot all these levels have you finding keys. I guess it's just a way of making the levels feel more open, even though you still go down your own linear path to get to them. It's a nice balance between the two styles of level. I like it. Ah! How did I miss that? Yeah, I was for a second. Oh, and then we got a Sonic Lost World style bit. Ah, I didn't see that was poison.
pretty fun level with a few interesting ideas there. Tails is challenge. Too loud. Take part in regular challenges to unlock rewards. Okay. Shall we see what Tails is challenge is? How do I get to that? Let's try and go. Okay, welcome to Tails' Challenges. Complete challenges to unlock rewards. Challenges updated regularly. Score high and top the leaderboards. Okay. Even though it's Tails' challenge, I have to play as Sonic or Amy. Okay, what is this? Ego City, Act 3. I'm, I don't feel like I shouldn't be seeing this yet. Why is it starting on a level that I presume is towards the end of the game? Test my skills at least. No worries, I'll upload the uh, video to YouTube tomorrow, so if you want to catch a rest at some point, it'll be up on the Gameplay channel. But yeah, glad you enjoyed watching, but you actually got to see what the rest of your game was like. So, that's always fun. Enjoy work. I'm sure you're doing something very exciting. Unlike me, who has to make housing management software in the day. Where's that going? Is that supposed to happen? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Whoa! What's going on? Gifted subs everywhere. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, the whole screen! Wow. You're too kind, thank you so much. where I'm supposed to be going. Am I going around in circles? Oh no, there's a finish right there. Wow, thank you for all them subs, that was exciting. <laughs> yeah, I got a new record. And plus 50 XP, whatever that means. And a new statue. Right, let's get back to the main game. We can do some more challenges after. I have to get four more orbs in order to move on to the next one. So, time for a checkpoint challenge. Nightmare Maze Act 2. So, anyone else watching? What do you think of the game so far? Are you enjoying what you see? What do you think could be improved as well? more forgiving developers constructive criticism okay it wants me to go this way that's one of the cases where the camera works in your favor by helping you figure out what direction to go Okay, that level is quick. Next one, collect six dream shards. We're going on another adventure. I completely missed what that said. What is it trying to say? Something about swapping characters. Really. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. 
I'll get it next time I get my TV, but I haven't played Sonic since the Dreamcast. Wow. You've got some catching up to do, they're not all bad games. I know some people like to say they are, but I've had a lot of fun with some of them more recent Sonic. But yeah, definitely check this one out. It's very different, it's a lot more open ended. Considering it's a traditional style platformer. It's a really interesting mix. Oh yeah, top characters. What's up with the music being all scary? Soft to knuckles. I forgot you can do that in the levels. Nerf knuckles. All the money went on RPGs, that's fair. What are some of your favourite RPGs then? I used to love playing RPGs, but I just don't seem to dedicate the time enough to them these days. Where am I supposed to be going? This way, maybe? I think I'll just take it back here. You can't even trick it by doing that. Where am I meant? This way? I've been through here. This is new. There it is. Woohoo! Back me back out. Where is it? In here? Up here. I don't think we've been up here. Okay, that's yeah. one. And the last one is all the way up there. How do I get up there? Up here, maybe? Even though I've already been up here a few times. Let's try going up here and see whether we can glide our way back over. No, I thought I might not be able to. Uh, Bravely Default, Shin Megami Tensei, Final Fantasy. Sea of Stars. I'm looking forward to that. I'm waiting for my uh, Kickstarter. How do I get that? I'm waiting for my Kickstarter um, physical edition. It should be coming January, I think. Maybe I need to change to tiles. But yeah, really looking forward to playing Sea of Stars. It reminds me a lot of Quintet RPGs on the SNES, which were some of my favourites. Oh, I have to go up there. This has been a cool level. You actually have to use all the characters. Yay! That was probably the best one of them so far. It actually made you think about swapping all the characters on the way. Um, yeah, I'm super looking forward to playing the Sea of Stars. It looks really nice, the graphics look incredible as well. How long was it to play through? Maybe I'd consider streaming it. But I don't really like streams to go on more than just like... Two streams, maybe three at max for each game. Before I feel like it's been so long that people who didn't see the other ones won't bother tuning in. I won't get any new viewers that way either. I like to try and do a bit of variety. Oh, I guess I could always start it on stream and just see how people do. Oh, yeah, we're doing one of the checkpoint challenges. Whoa, 55 hours. That's a lot for an indie RPG. 
Was there a lot of bonus content? You weren't rushing things. Yeah, that's fair. Space Sonic. Reach the goal in one minute fifty. Which way is faster? Let's try up here. And try ignoring the enemies, that's probably faster than attacking them. Oh, we could have changed characters then. I think I'm doing fine. Some of these rail bits feel like they're straight out of Sonic Colors. Just without the awesome, outstanding, amazing. I do kind of miss that. I always loved hearing that. We know you there. They could have knocked 30 seconds off that time. Yeah. Act unlocked. We go further. On to Act 3. No, no maze. Cool, I like all the purple colours in this one. This is the level where we'll have to be finding all the keys. Huh. I just thought, I haven't actually seen any regular loop the loops so there's, there's only been loop the loops on rails. They've definitely got a really solid engine here though. I hope they make another 3D Sonic game in this style. Using these physics. Yeah, maybe I should change to. Let's go to Rouge. Was there any point coming up here? there apparently and get some of the blue rings I guess I'll go and get it as I'm here now where am I going oh my god the gravity is so insanely high for the flying sections What's going on there? I feel like maybe because I was button mashing a bit. Oh, what's going on here with all the gravity change? Ah! Okay, I'm dead. Oh, now we're collecting keys. Okay, I can go straight up. Cool. Ah, oh, I can't see anything. I'm on the ceiling. I need to get up there somehow. Found it. I like these areas. They're kind of like little puzzles. 
more I do wish there was an option to go just level to level in classic style rather than having to do all these challenges one after the other uh, uh, you're Katrina from my Patreon and Discord oh cool I think there is I don't know whether there's a way of linking Patreon with Twitch, actually. But you should have a badge on Discord, I think. Nice. I always get really confused by everyone's usernames. Even my moderator changed his username when he had three in different places at one time. But I don't know who you are! And then I feel bad for not realising who it is. Failed. Oh, I have enough time to get back up there. I don't know if it won't be enough now because I messed that up. Although I'm doing okay now, maybe it will be fine. But it still is fine. We gave me plenty of chance to mess up. Now we're doing the same with Knuckles. Change this a little bit. Right. Oh my gosh. Even when he grabs onto the wall, his gravity just pushes him down really far. sound effects are so weird. Ah. It does seem like the game is extremely easy. Like I haven't really struggled at all playing any of the games so far. Maybe it's more of a beginner's Sonic game. Speed challenges. Oh, it just gets to the end in a certain time limit. I feel like it's missing a few features, like Amy should at least have some sort of unique ability with her hammer. And the drop dash 
from uh, well, all the modern 3D Sonic games is missing, which feels a little bit strange not to have. Or, you know, the hard drop sort of thing. And no spin dash either. That's all good. That I just realised. Uh, right, what else are we missing? I didn't do these ones. Bad start. Huh. What is going on with the knuckles and sound effects? Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. He sounds like a character from Banjo Kazooie or something. Oh, he sounds like Nelson from The Simpsons. Was really quick. <laughs> Collect dream shards. Let's do it as fast as possible. Ooh. Never been up here before. As I say, let's do it as fast as possible and slowly wait for a platform to go up. Is there even anything over here? Ah! I didn't see that was going to push me down. Let's try that one again. Don't know what was going on there. I think the uh, intro cutscene just broke. Let's try. Let's try going a different route. Oh, am I not supposed to be Amy? Maybe. Is that a bad thing? Let's try this one. There's one. Is that going up? No. Just enough room there to get back on. There's one underneath. Is that safe to stand on? Okay. I thought that was the poison floor as well. But apparently not. The floor does rise there. How long do I have to wait for it to go back up? Is it going back up? Yeah, it is. Very slowly. Oh, no! I didn't think that would kill me. Oh god, it kept half of them. Ah, that's how I fell off last time. No! Why does it look like there's floor there when there isn't? Something weird's going on with that section to keep throwing me off every time. Maybe I should try one of the different camera angles. I'm going to go slowly this time so I can see where the floor is. 
It looks like there's floor all the way across until you get to about here. They should have done something to change the colour of that gap. Or to raise this bit up a bit more. Okay, so this moves too. And the last one is right there. Can I just drop down from here, maybe? Is that safe? Ha! <laughs> no way, I died and collected it at the same time. That's pretty good. Now we can go further. Boss fight time. Let's go. Alright, Knuckles, your turn to face the boss. Guardian Hunter. Okay, let's go. Okay, I can use them ones to fire back. New platform further up. This is an interesting boss fight. Try and get back to him in time. Yeah. Hold on, Knuckles. Oh, he's not allowed to hold on there. Did I not get to him in time? Apparently I got there too late. the Guardian Hunter. I didn't even know I was getting achievements for this, but there we go. Complete a Nightmare Maze boss. We can now journey further into the room. We've got a new statue. And another one. And the music's way too loud for that bit. Strong. We, we need, need to be, be strong, strong too, so we can help her, okay? okay? Ego City, this is the bit I did on challenge mode. It wasn't this level. This one's a lot brighter. This looks really fun. The greatest city in the world, of course. Oh, yeah. 
gives me Metropolis tone vibes from the Sonic Heroes. Hey. Mixed with a bit of the Mario movie going through all these pipes up into a city. Is there going to be some puzzles later on around moving these walls around? What are you trying to say, Eggman? You're too quiet. What's going on? I guess I have to go over there. I like how the music cuts out when you go through the pipes. That's a nice little touch. going the right way. Then you made some more platforms. Oh, okay. Now the path at the start has got bigger. Cool. What a cool looking level. This looks awesome. I guess I jumped over it. What a cool section of the level too. This is probably my favourite one so far. Are we going to have a key section? No, going fast allowed. I like it. What do they say? The speed limits are five miles an hour maximum. That's so funny. He hates anything that goes fast. Switch to Sonic. Ah! I don't want to switch to Sonic while I'm standing on here! Ah! Oh my god, that was close. Whee! Oh my god. Yeah, the end. That was, yeah, definitely my favourite level so far. That was fun. I love that it plays into Eggman's ego as well. That's such a fun idea. Reach the checkpoints before the time runs out. Oh, that one was in the bike. That's okay then. I thought I'd gone past it. Five miles per hour speed. Right I don't know what else this is saying about Eggman's ego. Just he likes things being gold and red. Ah! Why did they disappear? Did I miss one? Oh no. I'm not going to get really back over there. Hey, I did it. I really thought I was screwed then. Ah! Uh, oh no, the time is still counting. Yeah, let's see. Let's try again. Pretend that didn't happen. You know what else I really like about this game? There hasn't been any relying on nostalgia either. It's all brand new levels and content.
another. We did it perfectly that time. Oh, that was right at the end as well. No way. Alright, I guess we're playing as Cream this time. I was just choosing whoever it decided for me. I'm not a massive fan of the flying bits. I feel like it's a little bit awkward. It's hard to tell how long you can stay in the air. It's nice that they're actually giving you a little bit of a challenge at least. Shame it didn't happen until so late into the game though. And, you know what else is interesting about this? There's been no 2D sections at all, which is quite rare for a 3D Sonic game these days. Although they're usually full of side-scrolling bits. Nice, we do it. Yeah. Like the six string shards, let's do this one as Sonic. I should have just done this for every level, just go through them one by one. I would have made the progression of the TV. Straight up. Right. Easy. Dun, 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 dun. We may as well finish them all off. Now we got another time trial. Finish in under two minutes. Easy. Let's try going this way. to be going on the spring. I feel like that was the better option. Seems okay. I'll just go wherever the home in missile, home in attack takes me. Nice, I'm glad that wasn't the puzzle again. That would have slowed it down a lot. Go, go, go. I wonder if there's shortcuts and stuff that I'm not seeing. Up here. Oh no! Oh no, I'm right near the end. It's right here. It's okay, we've got 20 seconds. There it is. Yay! I don't know why it was doubled up. Did you see there at the end? It looked like there was two arrows going to it. Really? That's not enough to get to the next level? Oh my god, I did all of them. 
I guess we have to do all of all of them. All right, let's do this one then. Let's clear up some of these older levels. Yo, we got a new first time chatter on the stream. Cape Codder, hello, how are you doing? Uh, what was the challenge here? Gets to the end in under one minute thirty. Easy. Oh, apparently you can't boost into the crabs. Been faster to switch to tails or cream there? Maybe. Doing okay, that's good. What do you think of what you're seeing from Sonic Dream Team so far? Now we got a new level. Oh, right, it's taking me straight back there. Okay, more story. This is the dream. I'm really enjoying the game so far. Eggman Land. Are we going back to Sonic Colors? Right. Right. R.E.M. is the key to everything. Without, Without her, her, he's, he's stuck. stuck. But he's, he's clearly, clearly got, got a plan. plan. Whatever, Whatever it is, we, we won't let, let him win. It looks weird. It does look a bit weird. I guess that's kind of the point, with it being inside a dream. But yeah, it definitely doesn't feel like a re regular Sonic game. Or I guess it kind of does, because like this feels just like a normal Sonic game. But then... It turns into you trying to collect keys or doing different challenges and stuff, which is very unique. It's definitely one of the more interesting Sonic games that I've played. Ah! And I keep going off the edge of the stage like that. Hmm. Yeah, it's like it's kind of straddling the line somewhere between console and mobile. I guess that makes sense, because it's made by Sega's mobile team. But it does feel quite basic, like there's no... There's no spin dash, there's no extra moves or anything. Because I think they tried to keep everything to two buttons. Because it's playable on mobile. But then there's bits like this, where it does feel like a full, proper console release as well. And it still has all the regular Sonic stuff, like collecting the... Uh, Red rings and stuff like that. There it is. So it is a strange one. I think it'd feel right at home on the Switch. That's kind of like a in between handheld and console. Yeah. Which is definitely the sort of vibe we get from this. I will say it's obviously way better and more in-depth than any of the other Sonic mobile games. Oh, I still need to find one more thing. There it is. Sonic looks a bit weird on that pipe. It kind of looks like he was on the outside of it. Compared to the game, like. why did no one tell me this until about two hours in? Well, thank you for the heads up. Is that better? The game audio is a little weird. Sometimes it's loud, sometimes it's quiet.
I love that line from it. Absolutely no going fast allowed. Nice, we got all the red ones in that level too. Is it just in that first level where you get to collect the red coins? Coins, rings, whatever. Right, what are we doing this time? Reach the checkpoints before the time runs out. Ah, not like that! Let's restart. What was I need listening for there? I like the animations, they've done a great job. That's better. Did I hit it? Yes. Sometimes I'm not quite sure whether I actually hit the checkpoint or not. It's pretty cool having the dash and the double jump on separate buttons. Because you kind of get three, three chances to get extra air, air time. Oh, that was a short level. Dream Shards. Who are we going to play as this time? Let's be Rouge. We haven't had much gameplay with Rouge yet. Let's go. We'll find him. I don't know where I'm going. I would have found something over there. But no, it's just taken me all the way back to the main area. Okay, let's uh, see which one's closest. This one down from here? There it is. Oh, okay, I'm not supposed to be going that way. Ah, oh no! I want to try it with touch controls. I presume it's just like a virtual joypad. So it depends on how much you like that kind of control. I personally hate it. I never want to play a game like that with a touchpad. With a touch screen. I'm using the PS5 controller if you're curious as to how I'm playing it. On the Mac. Uh, which is the original M1 Pro. You like to check out how bad controls are. Uh, I guess it's good that there's the option. But having things also work on mobile also makes me wonder whether they've intentionally made this simpler than it could have been to make it work with touchscreens. Right. But I suppose if Apple had said no it's limited to controllers, that would limit the amount of people who could play it even more, so you can't really win. You can't win either way. last one. Yay, we did it. Tried to play Shredder's Revenge on the phone and it was painful. Yeah. If you've got the option, definitely don't use touchscreen. Although, I say that, but back in college I managed to complete Mega Man 2 on the iPod Touch on the bus on the way home from college. 
several times. So at one point, I was okay with touch controls. So I guess uh, kids growing up with it these days won't really have an issue like we do. My girlfriend's nephews all play Fortnite on their iPads and phones and stuff, and the way they use the touch screen is like insane. Like, I can't even comprehend using it like that. So, clearly, some people have no problem not using the controller. Anyone else think Knuckles' is, uh, voice lines are a bit weird? Alright, we may as well finish it. Reach the Dream Portal in under two minutes. Yeah. Let's go, Sonic. You managed to complete GTA Vice City in three on the touchscreen. Yeah. See, when you haven't got a choice, you make it work. I'm sure there was a bunch of games I played in the early iOS days on touchscreen, and I didn't complain then. I mean, there's some crazy people today playing Resident Evil 8 on a touchscreen. And whatever else is coming out soon from the console lineup. Why, are, why do those enemies exist? They're basically just like bowling pins. it for this set of levels. We still need to get two more. We have some new challenges. Alright, let's try some of these new ones then. Go back to Fall, fall Guys world. Scramble chores. I don't know why everything is made of inflatable plastic things. Tales are streaming about bouncy castles. Okay, I get it. We're not going that way. I don't like how slow it makes a move when you get into the air. Ow! I knew that was going to be a trick. Oh well. There's the finish. Alright, now we've got to do the same with Knuckles. Yep, ready to awkwardly climb up some walls. Wow. That was awkward. I wish you could boost up the walls too. Hey, I skipped that one out completely. I 
I still find it funny how fast he falls. Apparently it's because they were worried about him being able to break some of the levels. No! Can I bounce off them? I'm sure they're just part of the scenery. Well, I can, but not in the right direction. Oh no! Did I get another checkpoint? I don't think so. I was being impatient. That was a bit risky. We did it! There we go, one more gem. Dun, 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 dun. Now we can go even further and look at a giant gold statue of Dr. Eggman. Let's go. Looks like an F-Zero racetrack. Ego City, Act 3. Here we go. I'm not entirely sure what all those blue coins are for. Oh, I've opened up some of the, um, I don't know what you call them, the statues. Oh, I missed them then. There are some more red ones for me to collect though. And if you get enough red ones, you actually get another one of the orbs. Which means you don't need to do another one of the missions in between. I'm missing all the blue ones. There we go, got some. I wonder if Super Sonic is in this. I do find it strange there hasn't been any special stages. It's almost like they forgot that they were supposed to make them. Oh my god! How did I miss them completely? I wasn't aiming for that one, so I don't know why it sent me over there. Classic camera angle going around the loop, the loop, going through the middle. Now it's time for knuckles. Reach the checkpoints before the time runs out. Whoa! Kind of went the wrong direction there for a second. Oh no! I lost all my glide for some reason. Let's try that again. That's better. I think I lost a lot of time there. So let's see whether we can actually make it through the rest of this.
haven't got a treasure hunting level. I suppose I should play as Rouge or Knuckles for these sections. It's the closest there is to the treasure hunting levels. Without an, a radar. Oh, did that not count? Sometimes you have to be extra close to it for it to actually count. Let's try again. You really want me to be Tails. You want to change on that. Right. Let's be Knuckles first then and we can get up there. Okay. That other one is just floating in the air. Go this way. Hey, sometimes it can be fun playing as Knuckles despite his weird jump. Last one. How do I get that high up? Is it. Go over there is. Or cream. Let's swap as cream. We haven't played as cream for much. There's something weird going on with the camera when I uh, change characters. No, that's not it. There must be another way to get up there. I don't think I'm going fast enough to do it like that. Ah, there's a pipe over there. Okay. That's how you get up there. There we go, done. That was quite a short stage. Now we've got another checkpoint challenge. Look at the uh, weird crowd in the background. We've got so many fans everywhere and unavoidable fire. Oh well. Hey, first time chat, Nintendo fan. 800. What happened to the other 799 of you? How are you this evening, Nintendo fan? What is your favourite Nintendo franchise? <laughs> Stealing your usernames. Alright, what have we got to do this time? Let's get to the goal in 2 minutes 15 seconds. Let's go! The, uh, the arc for that jump is way wider than the rings suggest. Mario's your favourite. Nice. What's your favourite Mario game? My favourite's probably Mario 3. Or Galaxy 2 if we're doing 3D ones. They make me jump. I'm supposed to be using them like bowling pins. 
Ooh, I think I found a bit of a shortcut there. Sunshine or Odyssey? Interesting choices. You like the more open world style Mario games, then. Huh? I really didn't like Odyssey that much. I felt it was way too easy. Interesting that you picked Sunshine and Odyssey, because Sunshine's probably the hardest out of all the original Mario games. I do love the movement in Sunshine, using Flood. Once you get used to the controls, it feels really cool. Especially when you upgrade everything and you get all the different nozzle attachments and stuff. Yay. That's it, we did all of them. Do I still need to get more? I need to get five more! Wow, they really don't want me to get to the end of this game. What is missing here? Finding the red rings. Okay, there's a bunch we haven't done here. Let's do a checkpoint challenge. I'm shocked at how good the controls are. Honestly, this is the best that 3D Sonic's ever felt. Like, it might be difficult to pick that up on watching the stream, or watching the gameplay, but it's so responsive. Like, how has Sega not been able to do this before now? Or Sega at all, as this was made by Hardlight. Oh my god, it just feels so perfect. They've nailed it. I'd say as I run into a... A spike ball. Uh, yeah, this is the new Sonic game that came out today. Sonic Dream Team on Apple Arcade. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's very different. It kind of feels like a weird mix of uh, a normal Sonic game and then like strange challenges that you're forced into doing, like this one. Well, this one seems like more just like a level where you just have to get a certain orb, which is up there. This one's more like a challenge level. There's checkpoint challenges. It's kind of a little bit like Sonic Heroes as well. We have the different characters that you can swap between. Like, look how good that movement is! It's so good! It's so, so cool. Uh, it's on Apple Arcade. So it's on Mac, uh, iPad, iPhone. Anything Apple, basically, so I'm playing it on the Mac with the PS5 controller. Hopefully that gets a console release at some point in the future. Some Apple Arcade games have. So, fingers crossed. Well, I'm absolutely loving it. And, yeah, there's plenty of ways of playing it if you've got an iPad. You haven't got anything, Apple. You must have something, surely. You can also play it on Apple TV as well. So you can pick up a cheap Apple TV and play it on that. I love how bright and colourful it is too. Very reminiscent of Sonic Heroes, this first level. And the wall riding feels really cool too. You don't care for it. No, it doesn't matter if you care for it or not. If there's something you want to play on there, it's worth getting, right? You don't have to commit yourself to being an Apple fanboy or anything. Uh, right, where are we up to? I need to get two more orbs. Should we get something from the second world? Let's do this one as Tails. True, it's a bit much just for one game, but... Maybe there's some other stuff on there that would be interesting to you. Or it might be in the future. But yeah, I'd just hold out for a release on something else. I'm sure it will happen at some point. Fingers crossed. It seems like the perfect game to put on the Switch. 
or you know, switch to whatever comes next. Whoa, nearly got hit then. Wow, that was a quick level. Right. Um, try having a look on eBay for a second-hand Apple TV. I saw someone saying you can get one for like 30 quid or something, so it's basically just the price of the game at that point. Um, how am I enjoying the game so far? I'm really enjoying it, actually. I, I'm getting a little bit annoyed that you have to go back and get a certain amount of orbs before you can access some of the later levels. So I'm having to revisit some of these older areas and do these challenges. But I don't really mind too much, because the gameplay itself is fun. Yeah, go and have a look on eBay. If you get an Apple TV, then you can just link up any game controller to it, as far as I'm aware. And then it's basically like a little Apple game console, which is cool. And then you've got it if there's anything else in the future as well. Oh, I've already been down here. Uh, maybe I should wait for them. Why do I keep going over there? I've already been over there. Right, I haven't been here yet. This is something interesting. It's kind of like Sonic Heroes, but slower. Like you can change into the different characters that have their own different unique abilities. It's not quite as full featured as it was in Sonic Heroes, but it's cool that they get included. Um. It's not actually that weird, because this was made by Sega Hardlight, who have already made like three other Apple-exclusive games at this point. They did the Choo Choo Rocket remake, which was really cool a few years back. And they did a exclusive version of Sonic... Sonic Racing? I can't remember what it's called. Sonic Team Racing, something like that. So they've done a few other Apple games in the past with them. So it hasn't come completely out of left field. But yeah, it is still a bit annoying. But I guess Apple must have paid for the development of the game as well. Where am I supposed to be going for this one? It's just saying straight up. Uh, I need to get on that rail somehow. Okay. See, I like these levels because you have to think about what, what characters to use. Uh, and then maybe from here I can glide over? Oh no, not quite. Maybe I need to go up there. Or, maybe, I might have found another way up. Yeah, that's it. We did it. I think that's the last one. Yay. Oh, yeah. I love these end of level bits as well. And the animation's really nice. Right, now we can carry on. I think we've got another boss fight. You sure, sure you're up, up for this? this? I have to be. Hopefully this isn't the last boss fight. I'm hoping there's more game. Arium? I've been really enjoying it. must be the dream core encased by one of eggman's nightmare constructs rem cut him off from the reverie so he cut her off from her own power but it's out in the open this must be a trap everyone look out hold rem i'll go first to check it out <laughs> 
looks like a classic JRPG final dungeon. Oh my god, Cream's voice is so weird. Whoa. It's the master hand. Nightmare Eggman, let's go! Whoa, look at him. What a cool looking stage, too. I like how easy the wall running is to control. Light speed. Cool music too. This is this back yeah. Oh my god. I don't want to go into his nose. Let me turn back. God, this music. Hell yeah. And swapping characters. This is awesome. I don't know what he was doing there in the first place. Whoa. I don't think I'm supposed to be there. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's just go up. There's nothing to see down there. God, I don't like this. Is that the last one? All right, now Knuckles is heading towards Eggman's giant nose. Oh no, Cream's about to get sneezed on. I love the quality of the animation and the models. And stuff. It looks so nice. Oh my god. Wow. Your turn, kid. Make Orion proud. Alright, now it's Cream's turn. Uh. 
Uh, uh. Why am I going here? I'm just following the path. I've got to be able to attack him at some point, right? He has a health bar. No, there's no microtransactions. This is just the full game. That's how it is with everything on Apple Arcade. There's no per no in-game purchases. It's not even a mobile game, really. Don't think of it as a mobile game. Whoa! It's like an F-Zero level. Oh my god. God, how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to dodge him? I still haven't managed to get a single hit on him. Where is he? Maybe he's up here. Let's go, Sonic! I'm sorry, I can't be more gentle. gentle! Let's go, Tails, let's go, Amy. There you go, she finally gets to use a hammer. Why is this bit not animated? I'll make sure he's got his hands full. Oh my god, this music. Where am I? So cool, and I love the music so much. Not much in the way of platform, though. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to wobble around like that. Okay, that was my fault. I thought I'd almost managed to save myself. Uh, let's try that again. Ori and Ray. Hello, really enjoying the content. Thank you. The nightmare's over, Eggman. The nightmare's over, Eggman. <laughs> Boom. Was that the end of the boss? Do I not get to fight him properly? Was it just running Thank towards him the whole time? Everyone. Oh. Now I shall fulfill my duty. No. Come too far to fail now. My Eggman Empire will rule supreme. In your dreams. Nice work, Ari. What happens now? Now? You all get to wake up. <sighs> That's what I call a power nap. All right. What's wrong with Cream? Why is she in that? Oh, okay. They saved her. Anytime. So, 
What, what next? next? Breakfast? What, what about the dream machine and the reverie? Well, technically the reverie went into its dormancy protocol. It can't make dreams come true for another millennium. Oh, but Miss Ariam, I didn't get to say goodbye. No, but she knows we miss her and we're happy she's safe. You're all missing a keyword. What did you mean by technically, Tails? Uh, well, I may have been able to modify the protocol a teeny tiny bit. You should be able to speak to R.E.M. again, even explore the reverie. It just can't make dreams real. Really? That's amazing! Basically, I'm still allowed to go back in and collect all the rest of the stuff that I missed. Make sure it worked. Fine. Take, Take the relic. relic. It's, it's worthless, worthless to me now. Mark my words. The Eggman Empire will rise again. I will realize my dreams of world domination. Can I play that on the MacBook? Yeah, I've got the MacBook actually plugged in. Over there. I don't know whether you can see it or not. Well, the microphone's in the way, but it's over there. And then I've got it connected to a HDMI cable where all my consoles are plugged in. So I'm basically treating it as a game console, because I'm playing it using the PS5 controller. And it seems to be working perfectly fine. So I'm happy with that setup. Yeah, there we go, that was Sonic Dream Team. What did everyone think of it? I thought it was really cool overall. A little bit simple at times. A little bit basic. And some of the levels were just hold forwards, but... I enjoyed the uh, design of the levels where it sort of opened out and you collect the keys and things. It was really fun. Not too long either. I finished it in... how long have I been streaming? Three hours. That's a pretty good time for a Sonic game. Yay! Thank you for watching. I know you've been here for a while. Great job showing us the game. I might make a, vi a video review, maybe. But, as it's only 10 o'clock, I can stick around for a bit. I'll try out some of the other stuff on here. Ooh, I thought there might be something after the credits. That should do it. Cream. I think you should go first. Okay, thank you! Here goes! My, my. Tails really is clever. Hello, Cream. Who's that? Who was that? There was someone in the shadow. Alright, looks like we've got new challenges for most of the levels. Can we do some more? Or well, let's see what's up here actually. We've got these Tails challenges. And we've also got all of these new statues that I unlocked. And all these blue coins to find as well. And a whole bunch of Tails challenge things. Let's try doing another one of these. I'm not sure why they're all in some of the final levels. Ego City, let's go! Reach each checkpoint before the time runs out. I can definitely see myself 100% completing this at some point. I'm also interested to see whether, whether the progress carries on between devices too. Like if I wanted to play this on my phone, out of the house, am I able to carry on using the same save file that I had on my MacBook? That'll be interesting to see whether it works like that. And I'm also considering testing it out on my girlfriend's phone as well, because she's got the iPhone 15 Pro with the PS5 backbone controller, so it'll be cool to see how that feels compared to this. It should feel exactly the same, I guess. I can tell it's the same controller. New missions. More new missions. 
They need to sort out the sound. Right, reach the goal in one minute fifteen. Let's go. I do miss, ha miss having that sharp ability, so you can line up to the, uh, with the boost pads properly. <laughs> and I do feel like Knuckles just sounds really weird in this game for some reason. Okay, Knuckles. I think he's in pain. Okay, we only just made that. Alright, what's the next challenge? Collect six shards of something. Forgot what they're called. Oh no, it's crashed again. This happened before. For some reason, when you start a level, sometimes it just goes white like that. Bear with me one second. Gotta boot it back up. You can check out the awesome intro. Check out how nice this looks. I was just blown away. Here you go, watch this. I love this animation so much. has to be the best intro to any Sonic game. That's just amazing, it just looks incredible. I couldn't get over how nice that was the first time I saw it. Alright, let's try again, hopefully it loads up this time. There we go. <laughs> I just got an achievement called Ring Hoarder for getting 10,000 rings. Wow. Okay, looks like we are on one of the collecting missions find six of the dream shards. That one wasn't very well hidden. So many little secret areas. We need to swap to tails. And then swap to knuckles as well by the looks of it. I like these levels because it makes you switch between all the characters. Let's swap back to Sonic. 
Who's the only one who can do the light speed dash? Oh no, I bet there was one of them. Let's wait here for a minute and see. Right, it is. I do need to do that light speed dash again. Where do I do that from? Okay. Let's try that again. That's better. You know it. That's the last one. I love these little treasure hunting stages. They're just the right size to not get too frustrated about them and find anything. They really need to fix the overlapping sounds. Okay, reach the checkpoint before the time runs out. Let's go. As Amy this time. Dream Factory Act 3. I don't remember this section of the level. I kind of remember this one. This is the one that I said mostly played itself. Which is kind of true for quite a few of the levels. Once you get yourself stuck on a certain track. Whoa. Easy. Right, we have one more on this challenge area. Oh, all challenges complete. You earn bonus XP. And lots more statues. Oh, that was the last one. Nice. Am I on the leaderboard? Oh no, do I have to use a mouse to get out of it? That's See where I place on the global leaderboard. 477. Let's go and pick up some of the stuff that I missed in some of the other levels. Um, I guess on here I've got the other red rings to find. Uh, is this iOS exclusive? Um, well, it's Mac. Window, well, it's Mac, I, iOS, and iPad. It's an Apple Arcade game. Oh, yeah. So I'm playing it on my MacBook Pro M1. But you can play it on anything Apple. It's on this uh, Apple Arcade game. Which is kind of a shame because I know people really want it on console. But maybe. Maybe it will. Yeah, I'm playing it on PS5. Which feels perfectly fine. Very nice and responsive. There you go. It actually feels nicer to play than Sonic Frontiers, which is weird. Which is so weird. It's probably the best control in 3D Sonic game that I've played, honestly. The controls just feel spot on. I don't know how much time they put into protecting them. Oh, no way. It came out today. I've had it on my... Uh, Alert ever since it was announced. I've been very excited for it. You should check it out after you finish watching my stream. There was another game that came out on Apple Arcade as well today, which I'm also excited to play. The Puzzle and Dragons RPG. I used to love Puzzle and Dragons, so I'm really happy that it's back. Uh, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be looking for red rings. And blue rings as well, because you can collect them to uh, to 
collecting to get. Not really trophies, they're like statues. That you can unlock. There's a red ring. How am I going to get that? It's kind of floating in the middle of nowhere. Is it that one? No, that's not. Oh, there we go. That's it. Easy. Uh, let's catch up on the chat a bit. Uh, you should do a 3D Sonic ranking video. Uh, your 2D Mario one. Yeah, the 2D Mario one is the only one I've done so far. Hey, deadliest puddle, puddle! Let's have a virtual hug. Yeah, there you go. And everyone else also watching. You also got a virtual hug. Or just a close-up of my nose, I'm not really sure. Uh, right, we need to find one more red ring. Let's try this way. Who knows what things you got. Yeah, I'm not really sure how Apple TV works. That's the only Apple thing I don't have. So I've never tried that. I presume you, it has its own app store. Like that you can see on the TV. Uh, oh yeah, we haven't been able to go up here before. We can change the knuckles. Or I can be tails and try and go that way. Let's try going over here anyway. There's only one more to find. Oh yeah, I remember this from Knuckles' challenge stage where you could just skip over that one. My god, the graphics are so nice. Look how cool this looks. Uh, there must be a red ring around here somewhere. Keep an eye out for me, everyone. Oh, I already got that one. It must be further on. Uh, there was one over there as well, which I also already got. Oh, I didn't know there was a rail up there. Nope, there's still one more to find. Look how easy it was to turn the camera around. That is a rarity for Sonic games. Hmm. There's some blue rings up there, I missed. No red rings on. I can't go back any further. Okay. Maybe we'll leave the red ring hunting for now. Oh yeah, I think I missed someone right. saying I should do a 3D Sonic games ranking video. I definitely plan to do that. And a 3D Mario one as well. And I guess a 2D Sonic one to go along with that too. There we go, we've got some more challenges here. Let's do this one. Just go through the checkpoints before the time's up. Oh yeah, for anyone who's just tuned in, I've actually completed the game at this point. So I'm just wrapping up all of the different challenge missions. So if you want to see what the whole game is like, you can watch the uh, stream VOD on YouTube tomorrow. And one of the developers was in the stream earlier. Tell me about some of this, how it was early in development, which is really cool to hear. <clears throat> what is my favourite 3D Mario and 3D Sonic? Well, I already told people earlier what my favourite 3D Mario is, so that is Mario Galaxy 2, I'd say. I really enjoyed 100% completing that one. And the challenge level at the end is just intense. I love it. 
but I love all the crazy, unique ideas that every level in that game has too. And it just feels a lot more fun to revisit compared to the first one. It's so sad that it's not on the Switch either. I don't know why they didn't put it in the Mario collection. And as for 3D Sonic, I think I'll have to do the boring answer and just say Sonic Adventure 2. Despite other games also being really good. But yeah, nothing comes close to the magic that was Sonic Adventure 2 when it was when it was new. Although in some ways I prefer the first one. The first Sonic Adventure. But yeah. I can't say no to the nostalgia that I have in the sequel. How about everyone else? What's your favourite 3D Mario and Sonic games? Fully formed Bowser's Fury, that'd be cool. I really like 3D World as well. That'd probably be up there with one of my favourites. Sonic Forces? I thought everyone hated that one. That's probably my least favourite 3D Sonic game. It was so, like, empty. Uh, I thought you might have got it wrong. Do you mean Frontiers? You mean Frontiers, right? The latest one. That makes more sense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Sonic Forces is universally hated by everyone that played it. I mean, it got worse reviews than even Sonic 06. I like Sonic Frontiers. Uh, there's some really awkward things about it though, which I really don't like. I really don't like the controls that much. Favourite 2D is Spinball. Yeah, Spinball's cool. Um, I'd say my favourite 2D one is uh, probably Sonic 2. I just like how fast and straightforward that one is. And it's one that I've played a million times so I can memorise all the best routes through the levels. Yeah, Mean Bean Machine's fun. I actually really like Sonic Rush on the DS. Have any of you guys played that one? And Sonic Advance 2 was always one of my favourites. But I'm pretty weird in that I, I like every Sonic game to some extent. And I was planning on making it a long term goal to play through them all on Twitch as well. So maybe that'll still happen. I've played through quite a lot at this point. I'm enjoying this one, even though it is a little bit mindless entertainment, but it's still fun. I love the graphics and the controls, but maybe the level designs are a little bit straightforward. And it was incredibly easy. I basically played through the entire game just now with only dying a few times and being overshooting some jumps. Uh, how long did it take me to beat this? I think it was just over three hours if I timed it right on the stream. Yeah, about three hours. Which is typical for a Sonic game, I guess. I'm not complaining. And it has plenty of replay value with all these extra challenges. Did you come just in time to see the... Ah, oh, I missed the checkpoint. Did you come just in time to see the final boss then? Oh, it was already doing the extra things. Yeah. Pretty sure it took about three hours to beat the game again. There's definitely some really cool levels. And fun boss fights too. The first one on this stage against an inflatable crab is pretty funny. But yeah, you can probably see from this that it's very easy. Woo! 
some more finding some dream shards. I like these levels, so in each world there's also these kind of store what would you call it? Treasure hunting levels. Sorry about the questions earlier. Oh, that's fine. People always seem to ignore that bit on the screen for some reason. Maybe I need to make it stand out more. I always put what console I'm playing on. Your best Sonic impression. Uh, what's what's my favourite Sonic line? Something, something. The planet that's as cool and blue as me. There you go. That's all I can do. Or no food or movies. I'm out of here. Something, something, chili dogs. Sonic's handsome face is distracting you. I think you've just insulted Knuckles. Alright, that is it for this area. Except finding the, um... I wonder what that Sonic head is there. Oh, that's getting all the blue ones. Right, we'll attempt that some other time. Let's see, we've got some new ones here. All right. All right. Whoa, I missed a lot of comments. Uh, earlier today they confirmed the next Resident Evil game will be a remake. Yeah, hopefully Code Veronica, that's what everyone wants next. I'd really like that. I love playing Code Veronica on the Dreamcast. One of my favourite Resi games, I've played. The pacing was really good in it. You want a remake of the first one in the style of two? Yeah, that would that would go down well too. Although I don't know whether people would like Resi One in the style of the other ones because it's so puzzle heavy. And if they were to remake it, they'd probably take out all the puzzles, which might end up upsetting people. Because they don't trust gamers to have the attention span to solve all the puzzles and backtracking these days. So we'll see what they do if they remake the first one, that'd be interesting. Was it you that was on my stream yesterday that told me about that? Because I was streaming the DS version of Resi 1 yesterday. Along with Rissi Chu, who was playing the GameCube version. So we could see what the difference was. Oh, cool. I did write it down, so I'm going to check it out at some point. Sonic impression. Yeah. yeah! He has a deeper voice now than what it used to have. I remember in Frontiers he has a really deep voice. Alright, that is Act 1 completed. And Act 2, and we've got one more new one in Act 3. Ooh, what's going on here? Collect the Dream Orb. Okay, it's just a straightforward level. Weird level, what direction am I meant to be going? Whoa! Yeah, it's the same voice actor, but they just made his voice deeper for some reason. I can't line myself up with that properly. There we go. Where am I meant to be going? Over 
there, I guess. Ah, that's good. Whoa, how challenging. Look how far apart they are. Okay, here's a bit more of a challenge. It's a Tony Hawk level. Yeah, with all those half pipes. I'm so sad they don't make proper Tony Hawk's games anymore. I used to really enjoy them. Where am I supposed to go now? Over here. Look how good these controls are. You would never be able to stop like that. I think they're on about Revelations. That was originally on the 3DS. And it was a really great game too. It got ported to every other console though. The Wii U port's good. Session Scape. I think I've seen that. Is that the one where the camera's really close to the board? Kind of like a more of a simulation style game. It looks cool if that's the game I was thinking of. You didn't know about the Wii U port? Yeah, it's really good too. Okay. Hey, it's finished. Wow, it came out really well. You can you can see the bit of silver in there. Look what just came out of the 3D printer. Can you make it out on the camera? Just about. It's Kirby. And he's holding pin badges. He's not, he's not focusing. That's really cool. Do you like it? Print another one if you want. Uh, 250. 200 for the... 200 for the, 200 for the mat and 50 for the nozzle. 50? Yeah, he told me, make it lower, because PLA doesn't need that high temperature. So yeah, 50 for the normal too. Oh, something came free. I didn't see. 3D printer sabotaged everything. Oh dear. Did it freeze for anyone else? Uh, what am I missing? The controls are intuitive in my opinion. Oh, apparently the stream froze. You didn't miss anything anyway, I was showing this off. They just came out of the printer. You can't really see it very well on the camera. It's a Kirby pin badge holder. With Rissu's pin on it, with Tulin. <laughs> uh, there we go, if I get out of the way, now you can see it. Yeah, what do you think? Do you like it? I think it could be bigger. There was an option for a bigger one, but I didn't know how much space it would take up. Yeah, I'll show you later. I might stop in maybe 20 minutes. I'm just doing some extra challenges. I already completed the game. Yeah, I finished it in about three hours. So I'm just doing extra bits now. Alright, see you later. Uh, you want to see my dog? Hold on a sec. Make him sit in the chair. Okay, here's Skittles, everyone. There you go. That's it, good boy. There he is. How good is that? <laughs> Put him in the gaming position. Right, Skittles, you got to talk into this. Go ahead, speak. Skit, speak. Speak, speak. Oh, no. He, he wants to get down. down. No more uppies. Speak. Come on, speak. Speak. Yay! Well done. Right. Go on then. Go oh. on. He's on the ground, so he's a subwoofer. Clever <laughs> <laughs> boy. He wants to eat me. That's crazy when you actually went up. Yeah. I need to look to the camera. He's copying me. Alright, bye. There we go, you got to see Skittles. 
pro streaming dog. Uh, where am I going? That was a bad place to start the game again. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Uh, pretend nothing happened. There we go, I'm on. Oh my god, there's a lot to get through here. <laughs> Did they hear him on the speaker? That's funny. Sometimes when there's a dog on the TV, Skittles will get all excited. And you love the Charmander sweater too. That was made by someone that we met at Comic Con here a few weeks ago. I can't remember who made it though, unfortunately. right way. Yeah, there it is. We did it. That's everything from that one. I may as well finish these off. Let's see if we can do it in 17 minutes. I'm going to stop playing at 11, so let's see how far we can get before then. We've got another one of these treasure hunting stages now. The most straightforward one so far. I like these stages, they make the most of the more open environments in the game. Down there. Ah! Did I get it? I think it counted. What's up with the creepy music? Yeah, I forgot about the water in this one. Where was the last one? Right there. That was pretty easy. How do I get to it? Up here. Yeah, maybe not. Let's try that again. Have I tried touch controls? No, I haven't. I haven't tried it on my phone or anything yet. I've only had it on the MacBook, which obviously doesn't have a touch screen anyway. So, yeah, I have no way of trying the touch controls out yet. I'll put it on my phone tonight and have a go. I assume it's just like a virtual joystick on the side of the screen. And then a button for jump and a button for attack. So it might work okay. I mean, it's quite a simple control scheme. I love this music. Oh my god, I really thought I was going to fall then. I still am. Uh, can I restart from the checkpoint? That's probably faster. Much better. That one didn't restart again properly. That's better. The flying is a little bit awkward. everything in that one. There's two more here. Reach the checkpoints before the time runs out.
there's a Sonic Lost World section. I wonder if the developers have even played that game. I got it on day one for the Wii U. I actually quite enjoyed it. It does have some very odd level designs though. No? Was I not supposed to be going that way? Not really sure what happened there. I thought I might have skipped something. I'm gonna run out of time now. I missed it. Retry. I really messed that one up. to get through there. We just did the first level on the phone and the touchscreen controls aren't bad. That's good. train journey on Saturday sorted then. I'll get it downloaded on the phone. Whoa. I wonder if it'll get awkward on the touch screen in some of the later levels. One more on this one. Get to the orb. Okay, we've got a platform in charge. I like these ones. Oh, I'm supposed to go up there, aren't I? I forgot you could do it. Whoa, why am I shooting off backwards? It did it twice for some reason. Uh, this one's a bit awkward. Oh, I'm rushing it. I want to try and get everything done by 11. No! Same place too. Oh, I really thought I'd got it that time. Why is this level so challenging? This is the most I've struggled in the game so far. Again? Oh my god, what is it with this jump? Why can't I do it? Alright, I'm just gonna go straight forward. Ah! What is going on here? Why can't I do it?
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is anyone watching this? I'm failing so bad right now. Okay. This time. What the hell? This is harder than the final level in the game. And this is just a random challenge in the third world. Why? This is ridiculous. It shouldn't be that difficult. What's going on? Yay! Finally made it. Just in time for Duke to leave the stream. Hopefully you saw that. End it on a high note for you at least. Oh no, there's more. Oh, okay, that was close. Thanks for joining us tonight anyway. Oh my god, I'm really not focusing. Oh, finally, we made it. That was the hardest level so far. Right, let's have everything done in that act. We've got two on this one. Let's see, we've got ten minutes left. Well, it doesn't have to be ten minutes, but there's ten minutes until I was thinking it's like. I like that. It's a lot more straightforward than the last one. Alright, now we are on to more treasure hunting. Let's go. There's one. This is a confusing level. Looks like a super monkey ball stage. I want to see Sega Hardlight's take on Super Monkey Ball. supposed to be going there. What's up with this scary music too? Understand where I'm looking. I 
looks like Knuckles can go. There's one. Knuckles doing treasure hunting, how it should be. Without an annoying radar. Oh no, he can't grab onto the wall. He's forgotten how to grab on walls. Uh, I don't remember any of the songs having lyrics, no. Which is a shame, usually I enjoy the final boss levels with lyrics. But it did have a really cool version of the main theme. Alright, last one. There it is! We did it, gamers! Now, is that everything? Uh, almost, we got... Two there, two there, and two more there. We're not going to do all of them. I'll do one more. Let's do this one. I'll do one more. In my favourite level. I really enjoyed Ego Land. Ego City. There you go. That's not fair. How are you supposed to get in there? Oh, you have to sort of jump at the same time as going through the pipe. That's a bit of How cool are the graphics on this stage though? It just looks awesome. It kind of reminds me of the Metropolis zone in Sonic Heroes. Should we do one more? Let's do one more. I'll keep saying that. Gotta end with the Sonic level. Ah! controls are so good. Like, look how nice that was to just traverse around them. In any of the other modern 3D Sonics that would have been horrible. They've... Right, I'm gonna end it, end the stream there, but I just want to say they've done an incredible job with this game. I loved it. I don't know what you guys thought watching, but I thought it was fantastic. And I'm definitely gonna go back and 100% complete it. I might try doing it on my phone actually and test out the uh, touchscreen controls. And I'm also going to test out the backbone controller on my girlfriend's iPhone 15. She's got the USB-C one, which means I can't use it, unfortunately. But anyway, thank you everyone for watching this stream of Sonic Dream Team. And I'll probably be doing a video review, so look forward to that this Friday. I'll be uh, having to think about what I want to say about the game tomorrow. So anyway, thanks everyone. See you all again next week on Tuesday for the next stream. Bye!